Ever wondered what it would be like if humans could breathe underwater? Let's dive in and explore the top 10 things that would happen. The ocean, that vast and mysterious expanse that covers nearly three quarters of our planet, has always fascinated us. It's a world full of vibrant colors, diverse creatures, and breathtaking landscapes that exist beneath the surface, a world that we've only begun to understand. Now imagine having the ability to breathe underwater. What changes would occur? How would our lives transform? The possibilities are as endless as the ocean itself. From the evolution of our bodies to shifts in our living spaces, from new modes of transportation to enhanced marine research, our world would be fundamentally altered. We'd see changes in our food sources, communication, sports, and recreation, and even our culture. But as with any significant shift, there would be potential threats and challenges. Ready for a deep dive into a world of endless possibilities? Starting at number 10, the human body would have to evolve. Picture this, webbed hands and feet for better propulsion through the water. Not just a minor tweak, but a significant change in our anatomy, making us more akin to aquatic animals than terrestrial ones. Now let's think about pressure. At great depths, the water pressure is immense. So we would need stronger muscles, especially in our chest, to withstand this pressure and allow us to breathe. Perhaps even our eyes would change, adapting to perceive light and colors differently in the underwater world, similar to how certain deep sea creatures function. Our skin too might become thicker or develop a layer of blubber for insulation against the cold waters. These are just a few of the possible changes. Evolution is an ongoing process, and who knows what other adaptations might occur. With these adaptations, humans could explore the depths of the ocean like never before. At number nine, we would see a significant shift in our living spaces. If humans could breathe underwater, the ocean floor could become the new frontier for human habitation. Our homes may no longer be confined to land. Instead, we could construct underwater residences, communities, even entire cities. This would mean a fresh canvas for architects and urban planners, who would have the opportunity to design in three dimensions, unrestricted by gravity in the same way they are on land. Think about it. The vast waters of the planet, covering more than 70% of the Earth's surface, could address pressing issues like overpopulation and lack of space on land. We could tap into the ocean's tremendous potential, opening an entirely new chapter in human civilization. The possibilities are endless, and the implications are profound. Imagine waking up to a view of a coral reef outside your window. Coming in at number eight, our food sources would drastically change. Imagine swapping your morning cereal for a bowl of fresh seaweed or trading your chicken sandwich for a rainbow of vibrant, zesty seafood. From shrimp to oysters to fish of every color and size, our meals would take on a whole new hue under the sea. But it's not just about what's already there. Humanity, with its knack for innovation, could potentially develop underwater farming techniques. Picture vast fields of seaweed swaying gently in the current, or oyster farms dotting the ocean floor. We might even see the rise of new, never-before-seen foodstuffs cultivated from the depths of the ocean. This shift would not only diversify our diet, but also provide a sustainable, nearly limitless source of nutrition. It's a tantalizing prospect that could revolutionize our relationship with food. Sushi lovers, rejoice! At number seven, we'd have to rethink transportation. Picture this, underwater vehicles that glide along with the currents, using the power of the ocean itself to get us where we need to go. Public transportation would take on a whole new meaning. Submarine buses or trains would glide through underwater tunnels, giving us a view of the marine world on our way to work. Air and land travel wouldn't disappear, but they'd certainly take a back seat. Planes would become relics of a bygone era, with ocean liners and submarines becoming the new norm. Cars? Well, they might become obsolete or transform into submersible vehicles, who knows? And think about the impact on delivery services. Drones might become underwater robots, delivering our online shopping orders straight from the warehouse to our underwater homes. The opportunities are as vast as the ocean itself. It's a fascinating concept to consider, isn't it? Who needs roads when you have ocean currents? Number six, we'd have unprecedented access to marine research. Imagine the possibilities. Living beneath the waves would offer us an incredible opportunity to study marine life and ecosystems in ways we've never been able to before. 
We could observe and interact with species in their natural habitats, gaining a deeper understanding of our blue planet. We'd be able to unlock secrets of the ocean floor, unraveling the intricate web of life that exists beneath the surface. The mysteries of the deep sea would no longer be mysteries. Halfway there at number five, new underwater sports and recreational activities would emerge. Picture this, a world where water polo evolves into full-fledged underwater soccer, where the seafloor becomes the pitch. Or consider the mesmerizing spectacle of underwater dancing, with performers twirling and flipping in three dimensions, unhindered by gravity. Even our beloved Olympic Games would take on a new, exciting dimension with the addition of these water-based events. Indeed, the Olympics would never be the same. At number four, our communication methods would have to adapt. Imagine this. In our new aquatic environment, sound doesn't travel the same way it does in air. It's faster, yes, but it also gets distorted and muffled. This means our traditional spoken languages might not cut it underwater. We'd have to get creative, maybe even invent new ways of communicating. We could look to our underwater neighbors for inspiration. Consider the complex series of clicks, whistles, and body movements dolphins use to chat, or the colorful displays of cuttlefish, communicating through changing skin patterns. It's not too far-fetched to think we'd develop our own underwater language, a mix of sound and visual signals, even tactile ones. Just think, a handshake might evolve into a complex series of gestures, telling stories in ways we can't even imagine now. We truly have a world of our own, complete with its own language. Coming in at number three, our move underwater would impact land ecosystems. Imagine, if you will, the hustle and bustle of human activity, gradually fading away from our Earth's surface. As we immerse ourselves in the depths of the ocean, the concrete jungles we once inhabited would become a distant memory. Now, picture the wild, free, and unfettered land ecosystems flourishing in our absence, with humans no longer competing for resources, encroaching on habitats, or contributing to pollution, numerous species would have a chance to recover. The birds in the sky, the beasts in the forests, the insects in the grasslands, all would see a revival. The earth could breathe a sigh of relief as the pressure of human activity is lifted. Nature would have the opportunity to heal, regrow, and reclaim its rightful place. And who knows? Our departure might just be the best thing to happen to land-based wildlife. At number two, it's not all smooth sailing. We'd face new threats and challenges. Imagine for a moment the power of a hurricane, tornado, or earthquake. Now amplify that with the added force of water. Underwater natural disasters would introduce a whole new level of devastation. It's not just Mother Nature we'd have to worry about. Humans have a history of conflict over territory, and the vast oceans would be no exception. The scramble for prime underwater real estate could lead to unprecedented disputes and confrontations. And let's not forget about our new neighbors, the creatures of the deep. While some are harmless, others pose a significant risk. Sharks, jellyfish, eels, and other marine animals could be a constant threat to our underwater existence. So while the idea of breathing underwater may seem like a dream, it's important to remember that every dream has its nightmares. Living underwater comes with its own set of dangers. And finally, at number one, we develop a completely new culture. As we adapt to life beneath the waves, our traditions, art forms, music, and overall ways of life would transform dramatically. Imagine our holidays and celebrations now intertwined with the marine world, a vibrant Mardi Gras parade with floats designed to mimic colorful coral reefs or schools of tropical fish. Or consider our art and architecture, drawing inspiration from the breathtaking beauty of the underwater realm. Buildings could mimic the shape of seashells and murals could reflect the shimmering scales of a passing shoal. Music might evolve to incorporate the soothing sounds of the sea adding a tranquil undertone to our daily lives. Fashion would change too, with designs inspired by the diverse and colorful marine life. In essence, we'd be creating an entirely new way of life, one that's fully integrated with the sea. We'd be a whole new civilization beneath the surface. So there you have it, the top 10 things that would happen if humans could breathe underwater. We've explored everything from the evolution of our bodies, shifts in living spaces, changes in food sources, new modes of transportation, advanced marine research, novel sports and recreation, communication modifications, 
impacts on land ecosystems, potential threats, to the emergence of an entirely new culture. While it's a fascinating concept, for now, we'll have to stick to snorkeling and scuba diving until next time keep exploring and stay curious.